Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Are you and yelling at me? For total world domination, <laughs> yes, I'm yelling directly at you. You kind of are. At you, because I want you to go over to wherever you found us and hit that like or subscribe button, because all that stuff helps us become the most... What are we going to go with? Oh, yeah, I'm you, didn't, yeah. you didn't prepare us for yeah, that. Yeah, no, we no. were not. Oh, okay. No. All right, we're going to the no. fastest you, you can't growing... You pose questions at us like that. Yeah. It throws us off. Yes. We, well, we may be the Colin fastest likes growing podcast he does, that, that we know. know. Yeah, in the oh. galaxy, in the world. Yep, on this continent. In all of yeah. the known universes. Mm-hmm. But who are these people talking to you? I'll tell you, they're the internet radio superstars. Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Sean! What did we watch tonight? We watched 1975's Death Race 2000. Rewatched. 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 Officially watched is what I'm going to say. We officially watched it several years ago. <sighs> no. Wait, how many years ago was that? <laughs> it was like... Seven years ago, okay. and maybe Mikhail eight. and I weren't here, and we've yep. never seen it. Yep. You two weren't here, yeah. And it was part of a uh, uh, the mixed bag episode of um, we went to the drive-in. We went to the drive-in, and I mean, I wasn't even on that one either. But uh, that was the I wasn't on that episode. You guys did it without me. Oh, really? Fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other reason this I is a ben- there, this is a vengeance. Was at, I was at the drive-in. I was not there for the podcast. Oh, uh, was that the one we didn't? That wasn't one we tried to record in the rain and the no, van no, 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 no. Okay. We were trying to record from the the. Yeah, we were in a van at one and, point and trying to record a podcast. It did not work so out. This is yeah. a vengeance pick. Not really a vengeance. I just wanted to give it its full gotcha. a full look at it. Plus, mm-hmm. I didn't think you guys had seen it. No, and I hadn't I seen had it not. since we saw it at the mm-hmm. drive uh, at the drive through. And again, uh, I wanted to officially firm up Stallone's placement on the wall, his mm-hmm. hold over. Okay, sure, well, we're sure, gonna yeah. say this doesn't count as a second one for Stallone. He's already on for this movie. Well, That's yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, uh, who directed this this piece of cinema history? Uh, Paul Bartel, who no. we would know from <sighs> Eating Raoul. Oh. Also, he did a movie, I think, That's the same movie. year with um, David Carradine again called uh, Cannonball, I believe. Oh, Cannonball? No oh, shit. Yeah, but it, I not can't Cannonball tell if run. you're serious or not. I'm serious. I yeah, know okay. that movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another like race across yeah. Yeah, yeah, country yeah, yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that one I know because my dad. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. okay. Wow. Yeah. I didn't Seems like a dad movie. Yeah. 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 Paul Bartel has always been like a kind of um, satirical yes. filmmaker and actor. Yes. In with Roger Corman, mm-hmm. who produced this movie, New World Pictures. And usually seen, whenever you see Paul Bartel, you usually see Mary Warren of. Uh, mm. They're not like in a relationship or anything, but no, they but they're... appear like <laughs> it was one of, it was like a, just a, a thing, I guess, that the New World Pictures had going on. It's like if you put one, you put them both. Sure. You know? Mm. And so we did um, Chopping Mall. They were both in there. Yes. Oh, okay. yes, they okay. were. Yeah. What was the other movie? We watched something that she was in by herself. Oh, oh man. I'm, Did we? Yeah. Wait, is uh, she on the wall now? Yeah. Well, she has to be, right? Because I think we, well, she was in Warlock. Oh. We did Warlock. Okay. We did this. Uh, damn, what was that movie? That she was in. Okay. Well, so she, on. I mean, because we did Chopping Mall. So yep. she's previously on the previously wall. Previously on yeah. the mall. Well, Mary Warnov. Um, Mary Warnov. And, um, yeah, so the two of them would always appear in movies together, uh, mostly for uh, New World Pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a Roger Corman production. Yes, they wanted to make a movie because uh, Rollerball was coming out this same year, I believe, 1975. Wow. That was a big budget. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. That was the big one. And so they wanted to, like, cash in on all that, like, lead up to that. And so, like, we need a dystopian uh, uh, sports movie. Okay, so that's, unquote. yeah, okay, that's what that they're going the, after with ro- yes. Rollerball. Yeah. yeah. Because rollerballs, like, uh, in the future, countries settle their differences through this sport. Yes. You know, super violent sport and James Gunn's name. Yes. And if you uh, if you can't make time for that one, go see the, the Chris, what's his name, version of rollerball. That's Rebecca the John Romain. McTiernan one. Oh, is yeah. it John McTiernan? John McTiernan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Rebecca Romaine and uh, what's his name? Chris <sighs> yeah. from American Pie. What? Chris... Uh- um, pine? Not pine. Not pine. Not uh, pine. Klein. 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 Thank you. Klein. And I was Chris like, Klein. no, that's not it, but that's close. Because I wanted to say pine. I'm like, no, I know, that's it's not, not it. it. Klein. Klein. With Klein. Chris Klein. Yeah, yeah. Chris yes. Klein. Jesus, haven't thought about that guy in 20 yeah. years, probably. Oh, my God. You I'm still over here trying to remember what that fucking movie was. I can see her. I'm trying to uh. figure it out. 
Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. All right. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. So death Silent race. Night, bloody night. Um, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. We didn't do it. Um, oh, no, we didn't. So death race 2000 mm. made in 1975. Yes. Based on a book. Years later spawned remakes, which then spawned sequels. Yep. And then eventually I believe there was a sequel to this movie. Yes. Death race 2050 with Malcolm McDowell. And that was made in, I think like five years ago, something like that. But okay. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like well, old man Malcolm old, McDowell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 Dr. Loomis Malcolm McDowell? Yes, the, the old man who was, at this point in his career, just cashing in on oh, movie yeah. roles to yep. be in cheap no matter yep. what, because he was in 31 as well, wasn't yeah, he? he? He was one of the dressed yep. up motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, because he because <sighs> he got to shoot like one day and then yeah. get a paycheck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's when uh, that's about the time you notice it, like if Malcolm McDowell was in a movie, it's just like, oh, that's probably not going to be good. Yeah, in 31, he's standing in front of like a curtain the whole time. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, there, so Death Race, uh, the well, it's not even really a remake. Death Race, the remake, uh, is like a prisoners are forced to participate in this yes. death race. I think that's a Paul Anderson. I think so. Yeah, movie. That's a bummer because I was Statham Jason or Gerard Statham's Butler or who? Who's Jason, Statham's Jason Statham's in it. Statham's yeah, in it. yeah. Uh, he's on the cover. Yeah, I've seen a couple minutes of it. I do not. I would not recommend it, but again, I haven't seen the whole thing. But that's oof, a, that's a shame good. because watching this movie, all I could think about was how awesome like a modern remake could be if they could be if yes. they were as campy and as ridiculous as this movie mm -hmm. was. Yeah. Like and even yeah. following like the idea of this movie, I guess yes. that's the thing. The new one steers completely away mm -hmm. from it. That's yeah. unfortunate. Like a, I don't. Yeah, oh, there's so much good well, material here that you could mine mm -hmm. from, you know. Right. I'm so you guys it. hadn't seen it before, I guess. Like, uh, um. The way that I always kind of took this movie, you know, like looking at it, and I haven't gone back and listened to our old, uh, I'm, I'm going to after this episode, <laughs> just yeah. find out what we said about it before. Yeah. Um, but it kind of like unra unveils itself as it goes. So yeah. first of all, you're like death race 2000. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be? It's right. about the transcontinental uh, race. Yeah. Right. It's fun watching. Well, it was because uh, Michael and Holly sit in front of us. So it's fun watching <laughs> them figure out the movie. Lurch forward in our from, seats. They're like, and wait, they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Because they don't know how serious to take it. Yeah. And it goes away as we watch the movie. It's yeah, very yeah, fun. Yeah. 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 And it's like, a very within, like within the first 30 seconds, there's just a random dude holding a Nazi flag. And we're like, wait. Okay, yeah. this movie starts wait. by dumping a cold bucket wa of water on you. It's like, yeah. oh, Nazis are in this movie right off the bat. Yeah. And I was like, oh my, okay. And it's like, okay, well, like, is they're this, not like, wrong. Serious, but or, yeah. Right. And it did pop up. Yeah, the Nazi flag popped up way before you would know how to read this movie. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh. It was like first thing on the screen. The first yeah. thing was a shot of a lady in the crowd holding a Nazi yeah. flag. And, and it's like, like, oh my Sean? God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where are we going? Yeah, yeah. that was interesting because I was listening to your reaction to that, and I'm like, okay, so back in 1975 when they would have done it, it's like the Nazis were ancient history, right? Yeah. They were kind of uh, uh, something that you made a joke about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah. The, like in, the like losers in, like of in, history, like in, right? Like in Blues Brothers. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Illinois Nazis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And everybody yeah. kind of reacts differently. Today, right. Yeah. You know, it's. it's like, it's a little too close to home today. <laughs> um, so the movie is a, a ostensibly a race, right? But there's yes. there's more to it than that, right? We're introduced to the racers, I guess, at the mm -hmm. beginning of this movie, and a very um, exuberant television personality. I guess that's part of like what this movie is doing is like it's doing this whole like how yeah. media covers. You well, know, I mean, it's it, it's very much like if you have watched. The Hunger Games. Yeah. It's very much like The Hunger mm -hmm. Games. We've, this is the Stanley Tucci. Yep. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah. This personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is uh, of the state, right? This is the yeah. state uh, Barker or whatever. Yes, because the real of, John Steele. Mm -hmm. And America has become like a uh, totalitarian, or you know, because uh, the American flag's been co-opted into some kind of like, it's not a hammer and sickle, but. No, but it's a, it's a fist and a lightning bolt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's, it's that yellow and red. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. So dystopia, yes. the future, <laughs> and yeah, from uh, the Memorial Race Track in New York City, or from Memorial for Old New York or whatever it was, to New LA is their destination, which is just like a weird temple in the middle of the desert. LA right, really went. I which is where the president uh, yeah. lives, and just, the president appears, just like the Capitol in the Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah, yep, <Yes>. yep. <laughs> he appears on TV, emerging from a big cloud of smoke at the top of like an impossibly tall staircase, as if he's a you know, deity or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. President. 
Um, I still say that would have been a lot better if it was Frank Avalon. I know. Yeah. It thought- <laughs> they should have done some stunt casting. Yeah, there, and I'm not they sure should who- have. Oh, my God. That would have been awesome. Who is this uh, actor? Do you know? Oh, the, as the president? Yeah. No, or if he was up. somebody. I did catch in the credits um, a crossover with something we did before. Robert Tom was one of the writers. Robert Tom was mil- married to Millie Perkins. Right. Oh no! Uh, the witch who came from the sea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that he movie. wrote the, yeah. the witch who came from the sea. Uh, he wrote that he movie. He wrote that huh? movie and he wrote wow. this one. Wow! Yeah. Oh. He's got <laughs> some <laughs> issues to work out, huh? Um. So Sandy McCallum as Mr. President. That's not a real name. No. It's, and he's got nothing to click on on Wikipedia. On, that sounds uh, like Wikipedia, a Simpsons so. character. Yeah. yeah. Sandy McCallum. Yeah. Sandy like, McCallum. Maybe yeah. he's the brother of what's his name? McCallum from David. Uh, the yes, President. David McCallum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so who are our races, erasers that were introduced to right off the bat? Uh, Calamity Jane. Yes. That's Mary Warren of, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Who's as just as you would anticipate. She's like Western theme. Yeah, Western Her car's themes. the bull. Yep. yep. It's got yep. horns and everything. Mm-hmm. It's got yep. a, yeah. a, a navigator who plays the guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nero. Nero the hero, mm-hmm. yeah, I believe, who is Played Martin by. Cove <laughs> from the Karate Kid. Yeah, who I forgot was in this movie. <laughs> yeah, very young. Yes, very young. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe Viterno. Viterbo. 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 Yeah. Joe Machine Gun Machine Joe. Gun Machine Viterbo. Gun, yep. Mm-hmm. yep. From Chicago. Sylvester mm-hmm. Stallone. Yep. God bless him. Yelling. Yeah. He's like a gangster, like a 20s gangster. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. yeah. He's so angry. He's yeah. So- <laughs> That's because he doesn't get the respect he thinks he deserves. He's well, won the race Like Rodney before. Dangerfield? Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield wasn't angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. This is the Sylvester Stallone version of it. Okay. He's so. always second fiddle, I guess. Yeah. That's why he's yes. always got, uh, you yeah. know, that second child syndrome. Yeah. Because he's always number two to mm-hmm. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. That's David Carradine. It is. Yeah. In, a, in, a, in a get up, I will say. He's got a cape. He's a black bondage dude with a cape. I think this movie awakened some things in him. <laughs> 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 or knowing, G- given knowing how he know. died, yeah. I think uh, this might be the I genesis of it that. here. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Th- they were just. If like, you don't know what we're talking about, just do a quick little Google search about he, how David like, Carradine yeah. died, and you'll. He you'll, brought that costume. He's like, I have an idea. Or yeah. I think they put him in this costume, and it flipped a switch, and, he's like, and, he's like, yeah. sent, like, and it yeah. sent him down a path. He's like, yeah. I'm home. Yeah. 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 It's like, it fits like a glove. Who's mm-hmm. the, uh, sorry, before we move on. Matilda the Hun. Matilda the Hun. Yeah. She was from Wisconsin. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Milwaukee. The, yeah. Yeah, the Nazis. Yeah. From, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And she was, uh, that was Roberta Collins. Well, there's a very large German, German, yes, pop- yeah. German population. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what they were going yeah. for? Yeah. 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 No, there's a lot of German yeah. population in Milwaukee. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was uh, R- Roberta Collins was was uh, Matilda, and she was in like all those Chained Heat, Big Dollhouse, uh, all those yeah. Roger Corman yeah. movies. Um, okay, so Frankenstein is the guy that we're first like introduced to, and we're told that he is the star racer, right? Yeah, he has been in cryogenic storage <laughs> uh, because, since the last race to be put back together. Because what happened to him? Uh, he lost a leg in the race of ninety nine. He lost an arm in the race of ninety eight. I think he lost his taste buds in the race of 97. <laughs> he broke he his other leg in six places in some other yeah. race. Right. I think that which, like, been how do you even have a leg if it's broken in six places? Right. Anymore? And like, Swiss doctors put him back together. Yeah. yeah. Lots so of Swiss doctor so, talk. Yes. Lots yeah. of Swiss doctor and talk. And dressed him in a gimp suit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, I still think it's the only thing that really holds him together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Keeps the circulation going. <laughs> well, he says something like, I'm just <laughs> plastic and metal pieces and yeah. whatever. And he's got, together. yes. And he's got a scarred, scarred up eye and almost a sneer to his mouth. H- his sneer looks looks like like it's gonna sound really cruel but like when burn victims kind of like their skin kind yes. of loses elasticity and yeah. their mouth like kind of comes down a bit yeah. Yeah. yeah yes yeah it's kind of what his mouth area looks like yeah so we're wondering what does he look like underneath this mask so the he looks l- like david Carradine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well the racers all uh line up and away they go right they all have their navigator yes every each, racer each has one a has a navigator yep so like, this is yeah. interesting because like their navigators are also like their lovers that they're yeah. assigned in this. Assigned situation. lovers, yeah. Their navigator is to satisfy all of their needs. Yeah. yeah. On the road yeah. and off the road, Colin. Mm-hmm. Because we're told that this race is going to have two 12-hour pit stops yeah. in St. Louis and Albuquerque. Sure. Right? Mm-hmm. So that's how this is going to go. And you're like, mm-hmm. okay. Because I know you guys were watching this for the first time, and you're like, okay, so we're watching some goofy first yeah. time, you know, yeah. futuristic race movie. But then, right, because this- I mean, as as it starts, like I think 
Well, that doesn't make sense. How are they going to have these 12-hour pit? If it's a race, yeah. that's got to be the first one there. Why are they having these like these overnight pit stops? It doesn't make sense to me. I didn't realize there was a point system. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> me so neither. we're yep. introduced to the point system. <laughs> Michaela, oh, what is the point system? goodness. Um, women are worth twice as much, right? Is that what it was? Women are worth 10 points. Ten- no, no, 10 points <laughs> no, more. No, 10 points more. Yeah. Than they used to be or 10 points more than men? I thought it was more than men. Upgraded. More than men. Yeah. yeah. More than men. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, babies are S- 70. 70. 70. Yep. Old people are 100. Yeah. Well, somebody was 40 in there. Teenagers are like 50 or yeah. something. Well, the yeah. 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 40. Yes. Yeah. And I was yeah. just like, yes. Ooh, that's that's a sweet spot right there. Because yeah, the, yeah, you get some things out of your system. Yeah. them all. Yes. And you're set. Yep. Well, because we've got levels. You can just keep going up. We find out about this because there is a scene where I think like there's a construction crew or something out on the street and the racers. Run right through the guy with their you machine know, gun, speared. Joe. Yeah, he has, he's got yeah. a big knife and machine guns, which he doesn't use on the front of his I car. Know, yeah, yeah right. and like, what's the what, the knife doesn't fit into this vibe? I'm sorry, no. this is he's literally this is not bringing working. a knife to a gunfight. He's yeah. machine gun, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. at some point those guns mounted on the front of his car were gonna like do something. Why didn't did, they? Yeah. Yeah. At one point, <laughs> he is machine like, gun, Joe. Didn't he unload his because he the, yeah, the, the crowds be- at the beginning of the race when they first show up to the starting yeah. line, he pulls out his Tommy gun and like. Yeah, because yeah, they're cheering for Frankenstein. The... Yeah, yeah, he's all pissed off about it. Yeah, so yeah. he's fire. He's either firing blanks into the crowd, or he murdered twenty four people that we didn't see. Yeah, but how badass would it be if he had like a turret on the back or something, even, or like one of those big mounted machine guns, like something. on the stand yeah. on like, the back? You let's know, take back five of the explosions later on in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> the ones on the road. Yeah. And let's get a turret on the back of yeah. this car, yes. or yeah. make those machine guns for on the sure. front work. Yeah. They could, even if it's just like one time rockets that shoot out once from yeah. the machine gun, that's Chuck Norris fun. could do it. Like, damn it! Yeah. You make it like Mario Kart, and you, it launches out like a heat seeking rocket that blows up the car in front exactly. of him. Right. Yeah. If yeah. nothing else, you shoot that once on a stage somewhere. Yeah. And you just keep using the launch. Yeah. And then pr- when it blows up, you pretend, oh, we shot at him and shit. Yeah. yeah. It, that is kind of a missed opportunity. It, it feels really like is. It. Yes, yeah. I feel like there's yeah. missed opportunities with the cars. Yeah. yeah. I just like you think about this movie and okay, they're going after Rollerball, but man, there was like a thing with like a car culture going on in movies at that period oh, yeah. of time, right? For oh yeah, sure. I don't know what, sure. what time or what years they came out, but movies like yeah, uh, Le Mans Mad Max hasn't happened and Grand yet. Grand Prix, yeah, those are mm-hmm. movies out around somewhere around this time, I believe. But like uh, Bullet and like um, I just totally Gone realized. in sixty yes, seconds, yeah. the original yeah, yeah. one of those, yeah. uh, Vanishing Point, Two Lane Blacktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those like car were well, easy rider, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But like I said, mm-hmm. the the stu- the car stunt movie, I guess, really you know w- is there. But like really, kind of by the time Mad Max comes around, then it's mm-hmm. like okay, we're going to do crazy shit with cars. <laughs> yeah. But this does do you know like I thought there was like stunt work happening here. Yeah, where they were flying planes really close to, to yeah. cars or yeah. driving cars over cliffs, but it wasn't you know like. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe, and again, watching it from like a modern perspective, it doesn't kind of have that, the same type of impact where you're like drawing attention to the fact that we're doing like some crazy stunt, mm. you yeah. know? I mean, did you read it that way? That it was, there was a lot of probably life and limb stunt work happening. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I yeah. feel like, I feel like watching this back in the seventies, it would have been like, oh my God, yeah. but us yeah. watching it now, like we've seen some shit, so yeah. it's uh, not it the comes same. Close but... to, <laughs> unless it, uh, uh, metal storms and actually runs over it. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It didn't look like yeah. anybody was killed in no, the No, no, no. We didn't get no, any close calls. It looked like catch up. Sorry. Yeah. There was one scene. The bullfighter was didn't seem like they got too close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, we're gonna have to. Yeah. yeah, but like, yeah, no, we we need to talk about the pedestrians in this movie. Yeah, it's. Oh. I don't know if you want to go there yet, but oh yeah, let's because uh, yeah. the point system. Yeah. Okay. So the okay, point but, system. So but, this is this is a national event. Coast like, to coast. All of America yes. watches this happen. Why on the fucking earth? Would a road crew be like, you know what? Today's the day. We're going to go out and fix that pothole. Uh, Why? That makes no sense. I don't well, think. I mean, we ahead. kind of get an answer to that later Ooh, on, what? sort of. When we find out that the family of the first person killed gets like an apartment in uh, Acapulco. You know, like they, yeah, the, like the leftovers. Yeah, there is like they get something. But this construction worker that gets hit by the knife in the front of Machine Gun Joe's car doesn't just get hit by the knife. He gets like sawed through the dick. Yeah. Like, oh, he does. We didn't yeah. talk about that. Right we glossed over it. It's really yeah. important. Like it, it saws through his dick, and you yeah. see like a bloody crotch shot. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's, it is the first it's wonderful. bloody shot yeah. we get in the movie. Yeah, and it's yeah. that 
orangey red blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 seventy five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, They're like, what does blood look like? Yeah, oh, it's just, way too orangey. I just wonder, like, I don't know this, right? But I just wonder if, like, that movie blood uh, formula like looked different on a screen back then than it does to us now watching it on video I all cleaned I mean, up. Yeah, I don't know. All cleaned up. Maybe it does look different because. Uh, Maybe because it were films redder back then. I feel like <laughs> I wonder uh, oh, something be. because uh, I think it was uh, um, Dick Smith, right? Came up with the uh, the yeah the actual blood. I think that everybody uses now. It's some variation on like okay, that looks like real blood. <laughs> um, but yeah, prior to that, it's all like this kind of it looks like red paint. But yeah, mm-hmm. yes, uh, there is gore in this movie. Heads get run over, people get run over, people get spiked with uh, you know the front of uh, implements on the front of these cars. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, always, you know, like cut for impact. It's like, yeah. yes, bam, bloody cut away mm-hmm. you know, yeah. to the next thing. Real Truthfully, quick. I was not, I was not expecting the amount of gore or boobs. Yeah, movie. same. Uh, there was uh, way more nudity in this than lot. I thought there was yeah. going to be. 1975. I was not yeah. expecting that. Free love. Still, mm-hmm. still <laughs> trying to wind it down. It's like, what, ex- <laughs> what exploitation <laughs> things can we have in this? We, well, we've got, we've got the blood. It's, the we've got it's the just the vehicle to get to the nudity is strange. Do you do, uh, do you find like, it odd that when they take a twelve hour pit stop that they, they get all, naked massages? Gr- naked group up. massages on live television? Yeah. Yes, I, I, it like is. It like is naked the sex scenes make television. sense to me. Like that, it feels like there's you have a natural way to the nudity with just through sex scenes. Sure. But they're like, no, that's too obvious. <laughs> yeah, we're no, gonna we need do lined up on a table. Yeah. Group nude mixed gender massages um, mm-hmm. broadcast on live television because yeah. it's the yep. future. Yes. Everybody's cool. It's with the that. free yeah. future. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I I love scenes like that. Uh, just from we know like no, but I, I, okay. From, <laughs> I agree, sir. But as a, I guess as a for the articles, as, 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 <laughs> they they have to do like like none of the actors are acknowledging the fact that they're all naked. No, right? Like no. they actually have lines to deliver. There's yeah. a, a, there's a, a there's fight there's that like happens. A fight, like an argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm always kind of like, oh, this is nice. So they have to <laughs> pretend that they're not naked, you know, like, yeah. uh, as they're doing these. It's an acting scene. So it's like a non-sexual acting scene. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just everybody's naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, which is basically all of Westworld. <laughs> There's a lot of non-sexual yeah, nudity yeah, in Westworld. Yeah, yeah, a sure. lot. Yeah. A lot of people just having conversations naked. Like, yeah. <laughs> or the true. boys. Yeah, the boys, too. There's a lot of yeah. just random nakedness yep. in the boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, now I'll watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how, how many different things about the boys do I have to tell you before you How many times watch? do we have to yeah. tell you that it's an amazing show? Yeah. <laughs> what do we have to say? <laughs> well, the pedestrians. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Yes. Sure. So some of them are actually out there trying to get the cars to hit them, I assume, because. Oh, fan clubs. Right. And the bullfighter. And the bullfighter. Yeah, yeah. the bullfighter, just, it's like that Maybe guy he goes, thought he'd be the first and he'd get his family would get the apartment or something. I wonder. Yeah. There's that. I'm sure he had that on his mind. He's like, all right, I'm, then I'm going out in style. And so he bullfights Calamity Jane until he gets run over. See, we should have seen, this might be a little too bleak, but we should have <laughs> seen like a group of really desolate people like shoving to get to the front of the racetrack to be the first one hit so they could get their family the apartment that like we is, sh- well, if you really wanted promise. to make the class commentary yeah, like no, that's a big bummer yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah a big bummer but i think would be an important element if you did it like now yeah i was gonna say that's it. the yeah. modern version of yes. this movie. Yeah. Yeah. that yeah. desperation the yeah. 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 Uh, i'll die yeah. for my yeah. family <laughs> they will benefit from right death. yeah well the volunteers tribute there yeah, is yeah. like uh, at some point the old folks' home wheels out. <laughs> oh my god! All it's the euthanasia uh, day, geriatric <laughs> euthanasia day. <laughs> that <laughs> sentence <laughs> fucking sent me. I couldn't believe it. And uh, this is like wonderful. what ten minutes into the movie? Uh, yeah, like much, yeah. we're hearing geriatric euthanasia day on a movie called Death Race Two Thousand. Yeah. I know nothing about. <laughs> it's a lot to take in at this point. This movie was a lot. Out, yeah. It's on stretchers and it's. Yeah. Uh, and they literally are putting all these like <laughs> hospitalized old people in the middle of the road and they hang them up. <laughs> they looked happy. They looked all right. They looked like <laughs> they knew what was going on. I felt. I felt. Sedated, <laughs> nothing else sedated. <laughs> <laughs> at a certain age, I'm sure some people are just like, humor, I want to it's, go. It's, you know, I mean, I guess it is satirizing like the, you know, where, how far is this country like going right. to go with and, violence? And how we know. treat old people. Old yeah, people. they're uh, just points. Um, although Frankenstein doesn't hit the old people, he no. he why goes behind the bushes and hits all the nurses who just brought all the old people out? Is the there street. an explanation as to why 
like old people are worth so many points or like is there a rationale behind this point ranking at all i think it is probably in this dystopian future a benefit for the country if the old people are put to some use if you know what i mean put to use oh yes. wow okay that's well, a way of putting it <laughs> i was guessing it's a commentary on social security I think it's population yeah. mm-hmm. control. That's yeah. what I get from it. Well, how are you controlling the population by killing old people? They already had their kids. Like they, like they're at the end of their well, life. Or, 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 you're not helping maybe, anything. Uh, at this I'm point. sorry, not population control. Like resource control. If we get rid yeah. of the older people, we yeah. don't have to spend money. That's or what I mean. Control. It's yeah. a social yeah. security. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah. they raise the point level, so you'll take them down. Because uh, yeah, I yeah. sat there going like, well, we they're can't take not going to move very fast. Yeah, it's not a challenge. Seem like it's hard. Yeah, you know. Um. Yeah, so there's something going on with Frankenstein. He is the uh like the top, you know, guy. He's apparently friends with the president, at least that's how the media portrays him. Yes. Um but we find out something surprising about Frankenstein only a couple a little cuz his navigator is new. His prior navigator mm-hmm. died in the, in the last crash. Yes. So he's got this new girl. She's not only new, Colin. She's working for the other side. Okay. What other side? What are you talking about? There's John? rebels. There's Some rebels blocks. in this movie. <laughs> A rebel alliance. Yeah, George it's, Washington's wife herself not, is in this movie. She does look like she's straight from knitting yeah. Yeah. the flag. Yeah, like that is where she. Wait, came is she from. Martha? Or is she Betsy Ross? Who is she, Sean? <laughs> yes. Well, she's 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 not Thomas Paine. She's Thomasina, Thomasina Paine. Paine. Yes, yeah. a descendant of Thomas Paine. Yeah. 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 Did they say explicitly say that? that would she be is. Like, yes. Yeah. That is. Yes. I Thomasina Paine. Did you recognize the, that woman? I did. She looks familiar. I, I couldn't don't. place her, but uh, her name's Harriet uh, Tubman? something. No, just... And uh, all but... right, that's not sorry. <laughs> America. Well, you did not do well in history class no, you in didn't. school, didn't you? I have a story about that. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh. I didn't well, do good in AP US history. Let's put it that way. Well, you can't just say I have a story and then I tell the story. Oh, no, it's embarrassing. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harriet uh, Medine, she was in, um, you remember Black Sabbath? She yes. was the neighbor who finds the ring on the corpse. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she was in like a lot of those Italian horror movies, a lot of Mario okay. Baba movies back then. That's yeah, super so creepy. And that was, yeah. at, was that yeah. after this? That was way before. That was, was the before? 60s. Oh, that yeah. She did like yeah. 60s well, movies. 60. But she looks the same age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so she's oh, the leader of the movie. Rebel Alliance, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. She's the Princess Leia of this movie. Yeah. So she's. All right. And, let's just. Uh, don't, I'm just yeah, let's not go there. So yeah. Sorry. Let's so not. Sorry. Well, and the navigator, Frankenstein's navigator, is her, her granddaughter. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the plan is that uh, somehow the rebels who think that the, uh, you know, the purge, right? Like we mentioned this at some point. Like there's a direct connection between this movie and the purge. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. So they're going to try and assassinate the president, basically, through the course of this race and bring it into it because it's inhumane. Yes. Um, So she's on board in order to do this. But Frankenstein himself, Mm -hmm. uh, like we it's trying we're trying to get a read on him because the public loves him. He's a top scoring guy. He kills all these Mm -hmm. people like crazy. He's the best racer. Mm -hmm. But there's something off about him. There's something knowing about him. And (laughs) is there? He what reveals he himself to her in in the car. Well, we find out the first shocking thing about this, so to speak. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, it's generally, we say you reveal yourself to someone. It's not taking your mask off, Colin. What do you mean? Colin? <laughs> Explain. No. Okay. <laughs> he has. So it turns out the the scarred yeah. uh, part He's, of he his... says that only his navigators have seen. Him without is, without his mask, yeah, yeah. which he, mask. he totally abandons this principle for the last half of the movie. Yeah, he's driving around without this mask. Well, it's on. part of the plan. It's part of the plan because I figure that like the thing is televised, right? So they're yeah. able to like the cameras are zooming in on these cars as they're going by and seeing See, them. That was, that was one of my questions because yes. they obviously like follow along on like each driver you know they follow their path yeah. and they know when they score points is it just radio but yeah like do they have a visual on them because, because I, I can't really tell i don't oh, think there yeah. is because i don't see it in this movie you figure this would be yeah. televised nationwide they clearly and have, i like, think they clearly have like a tracker of some sort right and like you said there's something keeping track of their points yes but i don't know if they're actually being watched i don't know i may if it was on tv maybe i missed it at some point but it know. feels like they didn't have the budget to keep track track and have people watching it and keep track of it on tv mm, you're right actually right. now that i think about it all of it is yeah. well we're, we're Wh- because is, it's a televised i guess the the, what, the promoter dude oh. and the other woman yeah. who's like 
there's three talking heads basically yeah. Yeah. we get the the very uh, exuberant you know today's like, the day of the race guy. yes there and is then there's some tv in this, there's yes. the woman who's like he's a very good friend of mine for every yeah. single yeah. person so we get, that she we get describes the commentators but like there's the scenes where you know the drivers are killed and they're able to like be like, oh, never mind. She wasn't in an accident. Something else happened because it wasn't shown. Oh, yeah. uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Notes passed to yeah. TV anchors to change the. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> it's fun. A fun so, look at the media. I get. Well, yeah. And I suppose state run, you know, because oh, you're yeah. supposed well, to be yeah. like, you know, it's the state television. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, so underneath his mask, because we're waiting to see like with this horribly scarred underneath his whole costume. Visage is going to look like how bad is he? He takes it off. She takes it off. It turns out it's David Carradine. <laughs> That's, what I'm yep. That's David Carradine. <laughs> yeah, normal so, David Carradine. So normal. he's just a normal guy. Like I mean, I guess he still we're supposed to believe had all this reconstructive surgery and all that, and then this whole getup is like just a thing to add to his mystique. Now, is that it, or is he a new Frankenstein? Did previous Frankenstein's die? And this is the new Frankenstein no, to continue on. No, Mm-mm. I got the so, idea. It was it was the same guy. Yeah, it's just he's just built PR. up the mystique of how badly he was, you know, destroyed to gain public, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, concern for. Him. Now, see, I think that because he was the 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 government's best racer, like he was on their side. So I think that mystique comes from the government building it up, even though Frankenstein died in those accidents. But he's no still I mean? the best racer. Right, but I think he... Didn't he say something about how he was trained for this? He and- said he was born in... He was basically... The government, you know, raised him to be a racer. Right. Like that's, that's... I don't know if well, all of them have been all well, the see, racers. that's what okay. I think. I think they raised so a bunch thinking- of people and then <laughs> insert the Frankenstein so to it's keep like it a, going. So it's like a James Bond situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pro- but I think it's propaganda. This is our racer. Yeah. He wins and all this stuff. Or- yeah. He's indestructible and they, they build him up. <laughs> to what we were talking about off mic earlier, it's like the clones and attack the clones. Yes. They just, they just yes. create a bunch of the same one. Yeah. That would be a cool wrinkle. I don't know if that's going <laughs> yeah. on here, but maybe you can read it. <laughs> in our way. remake, in, yeah. we'll include that column. Yeah, 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 in our yeah, remake, yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Um, so being a normal dude, so, okay, so what's going on then? Oh, no, he's not normal. There's one thing. We'll wait on it. Well, he does say, like, you know, because she's trying to get it, you know, we know that she is the granddaughter, and she's going to sabotage this somehow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The navigator. Because they're, right, like you said, they're trying, their first attempt was to get him replaced. Yeah. To take a detour, get him replaced, so that Frankenstein could then kill the president? Like that, the replacement yeah. Frankenstein? Yeah. Yeah. So she leads him off into a detour, but they mm-hmm. evade it because he's such a good driver. Yes. Um, but there's times when we see he doesn't kill the obvious target, he kills somebody else. Um, he says that his motivation is because this is the, you know, he wants to win because this is the only standard of excellence that's left. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay, I get, you know. So he's basically the Snake Plissken of this movie, right? He's yeah, like, the, basically, I don't yeah. give a fuck about your war. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the human race. <laughs> yeah. Um, he puts her to the test at one point. He does. He makes, because he's always suspicious of her throughout this entire movie. So he makes her switch and drive for a little while. Because he wants to test her. And who do we come upon? A child. A, a, ch- a child doing what? <laughs> oh, my God. Pushing a tire with a stick. A tire and a stick. Because it's the fucking Dust Bowl, apparently. Like, the kid even had, like, the overalls on it oh, and everything. Dead. This dead. kid walked out of the fucking Dust Bowl. You know like, what was amazing. interesting about that when I saw that? Because I'm sitting there watching this movie, and, like, they leave New York or Manhattan, where they're supposed mm-hmm. to be, right? And well, I, immediately nothing... end up in the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, where in the fuck? And all of America looks exactly the same. So mm-hmm. to tell the audience that they've moved through America, they've moved to the the kid in the, the country overalls. bumpkins. Yeah, <laughs> so there. Oh know, yeah, bum fuck Oklahoma. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because um, this whole thing's shot in California, probably. Oh yeah, yeah. in the backyard, yeah. basically. Oh, yeah. Um. So what what does she do when she's confronted with? Oh, I missed him. Yeah, she's, she drives behind a tree. She goes off road and around a tree in between a fence to avoid this right kid, to avoid yeah. this kid. She's like, oh, I missed him. It's all right, like, but uh, you're all in on the thing that like, okay, Frankenstein has his own motivations here, whatever, right? Or was this a surprise? Uh, to be honest, this whole subplot I don't really care about in this movie. <laughs> like. <laughs> Of those two, I'm I'm more just like show me weird race stuff and hitting old people in the streets. Like that's <laughs> right? I I don't care about the political subplot 
at all. No, I get want, it out of this movie entirely. Well, like I, as far as when it goes to like that stuff, but I well, like you're right. Like what? How can we explore? the areas of this race in this world that yes. they live in. Like, what cool thing, weird things can we so do? So many wasted opportunities. Show them going down the Las Vegas Strip and just hitting people like crazy. Show them, you know, at going through fucking Mardi Gras and getting just hit, hit. Why did no one go through a parade? You could have hit so many fucking people you know, in a parade. Yeah. Like, well, this is this is, this is is where sometimes yeah. Corman's <laughs> lack of budget uh, yeah. is a deterrent to just a movie. think of how creative you could get with this idea and yeah. that's why i don't think it needs this whole like i mean the ending is we'll get to it it's, maybe it's worth it but <laughs> I, I just don't need it in this movie well i'll mm-hmm. tell you that like even watching it tonight and i've seen this movie multiple times mm-hmm. i couldn't remember how it ended mm-hmm. i was always like i remember how it starts yes. i remember the first like 20 minutes of yep. this pretty damn clearly and then after that you're like how does it uh yeah yeah you can't start a movie with a geriatric euthanasia day and then in like the third act, talk about like not hitting this kid with uh, with his stick in his hoop and expect me to care, you know? Like you blew your load too early with the geriatric euthanasia day thing, you know? Yeah. Well, he's testing her because I think he is also not like buying into this whole idea about himself as the you know uh, champion racer. Mm-hmm. It turns out he also wants to assassinate the president. <gasps> what? How's he going to do that? Well, well this, hand is, this is why he wants to to win. <laughs> yeah, this is why he wants to win. How out of left field was this? He for wants you? <laughs> to win because the winner gets to shake hands with the president. Right. Yep. And so, what does he have implanted on his arm in his hand? A grenade. A hand grenade. And uh, it is a like a fake grenade. hand with a grenade like <laughs> molded into the palm. It's it's the it's like the worst idea. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like the worst idea. Yes. It's like the worst idea. Yeah. It's like, uh, How is he driving? It's not a good thing. And this is like his only Frankenstein body part, right? Like this yeah. is the yeah. only thing. Yeah. Everything yeah. else is he's This was the only thing that being. was true. Yeah. Like, and it's really his right hand, hand too, hand. right? Yeah. Which is Yes. We're Most told people. at the beginning, I think, right, that like since you've had your rebuilt hand, you can shift gears and listen to seconds or something like right, that right yeah. with his new hand yeah. and so he always has a glove on it even during the sex scenes <laughs> yeah. yes can't give up the plan well, well, was she'd he afraid like, she was gonna pull like, the oh, pin what, what, what is that yeah. <laughs> that feels weird <laughs> the hand grenade mm-hmm. at some point the hand grenade just actually okay but around but also he was like he was like feeling up her boobs with the glove with the gloved hand he sure he was, was. That's not fun. He has another hand that's not gloved. Right, that's, <laughs> like, that's, that's, not yeah, fun. that's why I'm like, come on, dude. This guy is yeah. inept in many ways. Yeah, but, but that, was, that could no, have been he's staging. Focused. He's scene. got one thing. The sex is the side <laughs> track. He's got one thing. He's got to shake the president's hand. Uh, but I'm So he's not really paying attention to what else is going on. But is he on. getting enjoyment out of right, touching like, her boob through a gloved hand right, with like, a grenade yeah, on the palm? Clearly that's not for him. He yes. Can't feel, he can't feel it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. You don't know that's, how sensitive. You thinks, don't know how the future he works. Thinks she you likes that. He thinks that. she likes it. Yeah. Imagine putting an egg in the palm of the hand <laughs> over somebody. Yes. Like, that's she what definitely we're doing was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Yeah. Stick yeah. An egg in there. Right? That's yeah. what you have to the picture with. it's like metal. And yeah. It's like rubbing on you. Yeah. Because yeah. an egg's egg egg gonna up. break. Right. <laughs> it raises many questions. Yes. It does. Yes. It also raises the palm of his hand. Yep. Which is yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, what the movie's a comedy, right? You're just supposed to go with it. He's got a hand grenade for a hand. Yeah. His delivery of that line was really good. I don't know, too. I yeah, it's pretty seriously. I don't know about you yeah. guys. Like he knew that that was a great joke. Yeah, it like, it's a hand grenade. Yeah, yeah. it was. This is sixty-five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Yeah. Like, like, Sixty-five. What? No, seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, that's early. <laughs> So the um, the racers, uh, not all of them are going to make it to their destinations, and some of them have fact, interpersonal of them uh, issues. Mm-hmm. So what happens to the first racer to to exit the movie, which is Martin Cove? Yeah, as, Nero uh, the hero is blown up. I think they go after a family picnicking, which is... Oh, my oh God, yeah. yes. How did I forget about this? Go scene. for the Seems baby. Iconic. Go for the baby, yes. <laughs> and what did they say when they come? They said, hurry up and run. Like, they had a plan. Like, oh, yeah. Because he told the kids to do something specific when the car got close. He was like, no, when they get close, go behind that tree or something like yeah. that. Something like that. Yeah. And the woman who ushers the kids away is the guy who's been working with the rebels the entire time. Yeah. Who mm-hmm. shows up in costumes and yes. later. And he's... And he... Uh, I mean, he blows up Martin Cove when he runs over a baby. 
the it's baby, baby, is, the baby. The baby yes. is the bomb. The baby's a bomb. Yes. It's yes. fake baby. Yeah, fake they baby. lured him in and blew him up. Fake mm-hmm. baby. The, yep. the resistance <laughs> is meeting out of this gigantic like turbine room or something. Yeah. I love that Like when they're trying to like... They're going to cut into a broadcast at some point. Yeah. They have to like, we're firing it up and they're like over turning on gigantic uh, machinery and whatever the hell, you know, this mm-hmm. factory is mm-hmm. that they're, we they're power making. for the satellite. Yeah. Um, oh, we didn't, we, we didn't mention the weird hotel rooms they're staying in. Oh, the cavernous hotel room. They're like big warehouses, but like, like weird modern it's furniture like, it's, it's, in the it's, middle it's of the like room. The, it's like it's they called? took the conference room yes. of a hotel it's and put a bed a in the middle of it. And it's then, really and then weird. Like hung like reflective mirrors. Yeah, just in the middle of the room. It's very everything's it's very in the artistic. middle of the room. It's yeah, very, yeah like, it's very 1975, like that modern-ish type. Yeah, yeah that like space age modern. Just yeah. like just like a backdrop panel. It's, yeah, it's right. like it's not near separators. a wall at all. No. Right, there's a lamp somewhere. But, yeah. it's also but there's also like fluorescent lighting in all these rooms yeah, too, like yeah. track lighting and, and orange stuff. carpet. Yeah, yeah, it's going for like 2000, 2001. Like the the legacy of that movie's design. Yeah, this is like the budget version of it. Yeah, it's like you really don't need much to you suggest but it's like it's the future in the right. future everything's like big cavernous industrial underground at least the future of like 1970s science right. fiction right because yeah. we saw west world right mm-hmm. the, yeah. the movie. uh it's all it all looks like that um you were saying that this movie had a surprise cinematographer oh yeah uh talk fujimoto yeah who ended up working with Jonathan Demi and most of his stuff, yep. Silence oh, wow. of the Lambs, and yeah, I think wow. he shot signs as well. Really, he's, he's oh, he's done a lot. Because this was a this this was weird. Was this, this his was, first movie? Yeah. Oh, I'll look it up just to see. Um, it's definitely one of his earliest the movies. Cinematography was a choice in this. It was maybe we blame the editor uh, because there was a lot of stuff yeah, that got yeah. uh, uh, Paul. What's his name? The director, Paul Bar- Bartel. Paul Bartel, yeah, he was. He had a lot more satirical slash funny things in this movie that Corman ripped out because he just wanted oh. the exploitative elements <laughs> oh. in it and stuff oh. like that. Yeah. So maybe the editor is uh, a reason why this is a little choppy mm-hmm. in some areas, but and from the sounds of it, maybe not even the editor's fault. Maybe right? not. he was directed to. Right, well, there's to a do lot these of things. like, I mean, but th- this is kind of like the hallmarks of 1970s era cinematography, right? Mm-hmm. It's, there's a lot of handheld. It seemed like mm. the 70s was when. You know, they can actually cameras were light enough that they could bring them around, mm-hmm. you know, move them around. And so they bring they put cameras right up your nose. You know, I mean, yeah. a lot of close ups with distorted lenses. Um, you know, now it's like so I was saying during the movie, it's like we're almost kind of spoiled by like, you know, a picture perfect magazine type photography has spilled over into movies mm-hmm. to the point where like you almost kind of reject anything that doesn't look pristine. This is mm-hmm. like down and dirty. Uh, you yeah, know, gorilla yeah. type. You know, we're just the the reality is unfolding in front of us, and we got a camera guy running around. And maybe that, maybe it was like a spillover from like Vietnam era news. Probably, uh, you know, like maybe, uh, yeah. yeah. Just like it feels more real to the audience in of that face. time if you're running yeah. around right. with the things. You know, the the yeah. actors that are it's action. Yeah. yeah, it's not his first movie. He started out with Chicago Blues in 1970, Badlands in 1973. Holy shot. I know, right? Really? For Terrence Malick. Fujimori. We probably mentioned that on our Badlands episode, so you can go back and listen to it. Which I was not here for. Uh, Then he did Caged Heat and Bootleggers before Death Race 2000. Oh, boy. And he also did Cannonball. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So. But now we would know him as the cinematographer of. I mean, it's mostly, well, not all Jonathan Demme movies, but those are like, he won Oscars, right? Yeah. Am I wrong? For. Uh, I don't know. He, I don't know if he actually won Oscar. Did he win? For, it? I remember Science of the Lambs like swept that. But yeah, year. but it, that got picture writer, actor, actress, and director. I believe that Ooh. got the five in the sweep. I don't know if it got. I remember or... on the 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 uh, commentary track for that. There's that scene in Silence of the Lambs. It's great when they're lectors being taken to the uh, meet the senator, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. there's all those police cars like swarming in, mm-hmm. and you know the 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 airport's all slicked down and all that, yep. mm. and. Uh, uh, somebody on the commentary track was like, to tack Foji- Fujimoto's credit, that probably said in the script, establish airport. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a, right. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a trick of cinematographers, too, isn't it? Wedding. I, I, I just yeah. learned this recently. Yeah. 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 As for lighting and reflection yes, and stuff like that. Because yeah. someone, well, someone pointed out to me, even, but even if it's not reflective, like even just wetting it enough so that it's black and not like 
ugly gray kind of right. dirt. It kind of just smooths it all out to make it kind of flat and uniform. But yeah, someone pointed out to me recently because there was a music video where they didn't do that. And oh. it, when you when they don't do it, you really notice it. it. It's one of those things like you don't know what it is until it's not there. And right, then you're yeah, like, yeah. something's not right here. Yeah, when you see it's something so without it, yeah, without the sprayed down pavement, it looks weird. And that's one of those things that I think like when low budget filmmakers, you know, like are, are starting out and they're trying to make their movie look mm-hmm. like that. Those are the things they miss. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, you know, that, yeah. That, that subconsciously now tell us, like, oh, this movie looks like a movie. Right. And that one doesn't. Right. You mm-hmm. know? Um, okay, so. So the, make everything wet. Um, mm-hmm. Nero the hero. Yeah, clip that out. <laughs> clip that out right there. Yeah, <laughs> just make it that. Uh, you young filmmakers out there, <laughs> if you learn one thing from the show, make everything wet. <laughs> Teaching the youth um, of America. <laughs> a lesson for all of us. <laughs> mm-hmm. It'll it'll help you out in ways you'll never know. In life. Colin doesn't know how to pivot on from nope, that. Yeah. How do we pivot back to uh, Nero the hero? We can talk about is, is, oh, okay. is killed. And who's the next one who well, bites it? I don't remember the next one, but Calamity Jane sticks out in my head. The way she, she goes stay, out. Well, she's oh, like the third oh, from last to no, go, right? Oh, it's what's a, her name? Oh, is no. Matilda. 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 It's, it's, the fucking, yeah. it's the fucking Wiley Coyote yes, one. Yes, the Wiley Coyote one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. It's there's, fucking like, nuts. there's like a chain gang or something. Who are know. these people? They show up for this one scene and then they're gone. I, mean, I, think, it's, I think it's the rebels. Still. These, are, these are the Acme employee. Yeah. yeah. Like they're all wearing they the denim. blue jumpsuits. Yeah. yeah, they do have all matching jumpsuits. No, they it's, are. It's the rebels again. And, they, and so they set up a very basic detour sign. Yeah. Oh, this is. Yeah. yeah. I wish it would have been Wiley Coyote, like hand painted paint still dripping letters backwards. Yeah. I wish it would have been like would've lean would've been so into great. it. Yeah. Like, then they, yeah. Then they set up a facade of a brick tunnel. That you can go a through. facade. It's like a <laughs> cardboard. It's like a cardboard cutout of a. Yeah. It, it's, it's bad. It's a high school set. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It is very much mm-hmm. so. And then, uh, so she takes her detour and drives right through the black hole over cliff. Maybe they're the drama ramp. club. Yeah, no, they're the drama club. Clearly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely the rebel drama. Club. Any <laughs> local high schools? They spill yes, all their sets. And she wily coyotes through that bitch and off a cliff. Oh, and it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> this movie adheres to a Hollywood rule that I know. Uh, you know, I remember when in Hollywood this became like a cliche, and they stopped doing it because they're like, well, a car doesn't explode if it crashes. By God, That's it does. Unrealistic. It should always explode. It should always explode. It should always explode. Yes. Yes. Damn it. Because yeah. you get the careening over the edge and then it has to cut to, the, you know, it crashes and the mm-hmm. car didn't explode. So they got to set up the explosion right. shot, yeah. which cuts about, to yeah. right after that. And just think about all the jokes that have been done with that, where it lands and the guy's like, oh, I survived. Yeah, and then yeah, it blows yeah. up. Because yeah. 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 it's a cliche. But yeah. God damn it, that works every yeah, single time. Right. <laughs> Final Destination played on Final Destination 2 played on that really well because there's a scene where like the woman's like trapped in the car and they have to use the jaws of life. And she's like, no, no, don't. I can smell gas. I can smell gas. And they're like, it's fine. It happens in car accidents and then the car does blow up i yeah. think if i remember correctly so that was a cool way of like kind of messing with that expectation you know because yeah. like the first responders in the scene are like nope it's all good and she's like no i can do this and then it blows up well i think it blows up and blasts a barbed wire fence through dude i think that cuts him the, in three in final listening i think that's four because no, four two. is the nascar track that blows the fence and it cuts the, the Cuts then they people. use the gag twice because yeah, it cuts they, the dude in half. He's where he has, maybe it's the car, maybe it's the car hood that cuts people in the NASCAR one. Who knows? Those movies all, all run together. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that was how they got out of that cliche, right? Yeah. It was always like you had to cut to like a dripping gas and a fire nearby yep. to mm-hmm. explain the car. Oh, no, there's right. a right. power line. Like, no, you yeah. don't need that. Just you blow the fuck yeah. yeah. up. I know gas is flammable. There's gas yeah. in a car. It's all I need to know. Right. You know? <laughs> there's certain things we just accept in movies. Yeah. Right. Since I was a young one, cars have been blowing up. They blow up. Uh, Calamity Jane mm. uh, also dies. Well, she, uh, her navigator gets taken out by Matilda. Yes. Run. Because so, this navigator is doing the dumbest thing ever in this. Like, where did she get this guy? He's like, laying he, in the road fixing the car? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't feel bad for him. I'm sorry. I'm just like, you, sorry, you literally asked for it, man. Yeah. And he gets run over. So she goes after uh, Matilda. Matilda goes over <laughs> Matilda the Matilda even says that. She's like, obviously, what was I supposed to do? Yeah. Oh, yeah he's in the road. <laughs> she would have had to move to not hit him. Yeah. So, Although, I mean. At one of the uh, rest stops, I think, where Frankenstein meets his uh, fan club, his adoring mm. fan club. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. Oh my God, uh, we gotta talk about the fan club. I love Frankenstein. He's, uh, she's the one who actually goes around kind of to everybody else and like, listen, uh, I don't care how this ends, but it's been great racing with you. Like, and I believe she her. gives the mm-hmm. well, you know? but, but then she gives the speech to 
Yeah. Joe. She was still giving it to him. Right. But he was like, get the fuck out of here or whatever. No, you know, I like- believed it too. And then she went over to the other <laughs> one and was like, oh, okay. So this fan that comes yeah. out of oh, fucking yeah. the shadows of this pit yeah. stop place. is just sca- like scaling a wall. Yeah. Just hang out in a hallway. And their uniforms for this fan club are a black t-shirt with a big white F on it. Yep. <laughs> but they all have like layered like gothic apparel kind of underneath it. Yeah. And, and the, I like the zipper choker. Yes. Okay. This, nice touch. I, I would bet money that this character inspired Mel on Flight of the Concords. The oh! Obs- because she has the same look, the same yeah. hair, the way she talks is exactly the same, and oh she's obsessed God. with Flight of the Concords, and she's their biggest fan, and then member of like the founder oh of their God. fan club. I think everyone's just making fun of religious fanaticism but, at this point. But it's no, Kristen no, no. Shaw that plays her in oh, Flight of the yeah. Concords, who no, looks no, exactly no. like this girl. Like, it's, this is yeah, no, yes, it's specific, and and this is a reoccurring character in Flight of the Concords, and she, it, and she wear an F on her shirt. She should because she Flight wears the their shirts. Yeah, and it's. And she's like the joke is always that she's a stalker and she's obsessed and no one else really likes this band and yeah. and but I love that she's talking about like how she's the president of the fan club and all this stuff but she says that she's part of the St Louis Lovers of Frankenstein mm-hmm. fan yes. club yeah yes very dedicated give me that T shirt <laughs> <laughs> I know he kind of like uh, spurns her advances but later she's offered herself up as a sacrifice on the road which he does mm-hmm. plow her over he does mm-hmm. he does and he's she's like why'd you do that. Or a navigator says, "Why did you do that?" And he's like, she, "Why? Why did she do that?" Yeah, yeah, to show that she loved me. Yep. And away. <laughs> and he's got to keep his cover, so he's like, "Well, works for both of us." Yeah. Well, he also at one point uh, uh, changes the rules of the race by uh, he he an official he, he runs over an official, and mm-hmm. then there's a bunch of hubbub of whether or not they're going to count it or not because now all officials are fair game. Uh, because they do, they count it. So like now mm-hmm. you can actually kill racing officials. Um, cause that's him subverting the whole, you know, thing. It's like, he does not care. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> like, you're part of this too. Yeah. So speeding toward the, uh, and well, machine gun Joe is, uh, still out there. Right. Yeah. And the two of them, Frank and cause this is the long standing rivalry. And I was yeah. actually surprised, I guess that, uh, Stallone was in the movie as long as he was, uh, for being this, uh, this, stage in his career yeah you know an un- unknown basically working for roger yeah, corman more, right but it's more the part than him anyway yeah like the part needed to stay around for this long in the movie uh he's a jerk the entire way through the movie not he a yells. heroic uh character at all uh you know he's <laughs> a whiner yeah he's, uh, he's yeah. beyond whiner he's like abusive <laughs> well yeah but I, well, I think that you can be a whiner and not be but he's you can not be abusive like, and still like, he's also not be whining. A whiner. He's like yelling. He's like rage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's not, yeah. He's not whining. He says rage. he wants to win the race for hate. That's his. He does. Yeah. Yeah, yes. And uh, he should join the Nazi team, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, at some point, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> pardon me. At some point, uh, he does actually get into a mano a mano fight with Frankenstein mm-hmm. as he's trying to strangle uh, Frankenstein's navigator. Yeah. His name I can't remember now. But uh, and Frankenstein walks in, and then there's a well choreographed uh, fight. Well choreographed. Mm. I may have been uh, saying that in a, in a satiric kind of way. Oh, he was okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. Are, <laughs> there is not high tech as this fight is. There are stunt doubles in this, and it's a pretty lazy fight. Yeah, and it's pretty lazy stunt doubles as well. Stallone yeah. gets a Stallone, mullet all of a sudden. Stallone has a yeah. just a cut to a large mullet, yeah. a fluffy moving mullet. Yeah, that wig is going to fly have. off. Yeah, which she does not have in this movie, mm-hmm. but his stuntman does. At the dinner table, when they have this big dinner oh. and they're all like oh, complaining God. because they're they're the racers are convinced that uh, the there's a sabotage happening yes. and there's these rebels but, trying to kill them and the government is telling them no there isn't it's the French <laughs> <laughs> forgot about the French yeah and this, oh, this blame becomes everything like a the whole f- thing just blaming everything on the French because the French resistance right yep. that's what yeah, they're yeah. doing there you know what I never need to see in a movie ever again mm, food French. on someone's face oh yeah oh, while they're talking I knew that was going to disturb you thought, yes really, because well, it was Stallone when yeah, I, first and saw it, he, I thought he was trying oh. to shave during dinner. I'm just like, what are you doing, dude? It made there's me, white, white it, it made liquid all over his Sean, mouth. You might be the only one that knows this reference. In <laughs> season two of Fleabag, when they're talking to the lawyer and he's eating that sandwich, yes, and he's got well, like, yeah. mayonnaise all over his face. Yeah. Oh, it's disgusting. But it was, yeah. it was just like that. Just like white, it's clam sauce. Ugh, it's like even worse. Yeah, yeah that that makes it worse. <laughs> it's so yeah. gross. Clam sauce. And like Boy. he's so yelling and like pounding on the table, so you know like. 
this stuff's just flying everywhere, like the spittle and off his fingers. And, or it's and, just coming out of his mouth. Yes. And because like, and this scene goes on for a while and it is on his face yeah. this entire scene. And, and it gets worse. Like He it's, throws yeah. it on the government official. He yes. Does. Oh, God. Could, okay. Getting clam sauce to the face. <laughs> that would be so insulting. Like I would be, I would be in a rage if someone, oh, you're going to smell like just, clams for a long sauce? time. Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. Your hair is going to smell like Why clam sauce. Why is he sauce? using his fingers? Yes. Oh, so well, Frankenstein yeah. beats the shit out of him not a in, a, in a contest of, of, of strength, which I think he also injures his, his pride. It does. And so the two of it? them. Is that all it takes? I don't know. <laughs> are on the final lap. Oh. <laughs> yes. They're the last two. Yes. They on survived. the road. Um, Did we say what happened to Calamity Jane? She drove over a landmine? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. She backed Suspense. over a landmine. Because the resistance has planted a landmine and trying one to lure landmine, her over yeah. there, and yeah, she the one. Yeah. she stops before it, and we're like, "Ooh, where are you rooting for Calamity Jane to survive or no, get killed?" No, I was at this point, I was like, "Okay, we know she's gonna die. We know it's gonna come down to Stallone and and Carradine. So let's just wrap it up." Yeah, right. yeah. If it was one of those other racers, I would have wanted her, other than the other. Yeah, I I like her I persona like her. the most. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah for I sure. I like her. Yeah. I wish she could have stuck around, somehow, right? Or like survive some but her fine. goal was to just make sure that nazi bitch died and she did so yeah, she got what true. she wanted yeah so we we're good that. with that yeah yeah so we don't need her but I like yeah her. so she's out becomes between the two of them they race and then one of them dies i can't remember now oh yeah the hand grenade, the hand comes, grenade comes into How do you forget this effect yeah, this would have been a nice place for the uh, the car, the machine guns on the yes, car. This yeah, yeah but instead he drops in. like tar or oil or whatever. oil slick. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. Awesome. Fucking Mario Kart. It's <laughs> yeah. James Bond. It's James yeah. Bond slash a little bit of Spy Hunter. 1960s yeah. Batman. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got well, a lot it's of a, that. It's a lot of Batman. Actually, in this. yeah, because of the cape and all that yeah. stuff. Well, the cape and also just up. the photography the, of it. The the, the yes. sped up. Yes, how every Batman. Uh, every yeah. uh, Batmobile scene in the Batman show looks like this. Yeah, even um. Uh, machine machine guns car was kind of Batmobile. It was Batmobile. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, got that feeling a lot. Yeah, they uh, the navigator gets the idea to like, give me your hand. She unscrews the hand grenade, and tosses it into Joe's car, and blows him up. Bye, Joe. So There's how like, are we going to shake the president's hand now? Exactly, because now how's this whole plan going to work out? There was like a little detour that, like, I think you just kind of. You know, blank over in your mind oh. where like Frankenstein dosed, uh, gave uh, the oh, navigator yeah. a pill to knock her out. So the rebels for 30 would, minutes, for exactly. exactly 30 minutes. So they would think she's dead. So they try to blast him out of the a helicopter comes over, is dropping bombs all oh, over the place. Plane that's trying I'm to not going to lie. I didn't really understand this scene. Yeah, this not real clear on the motive. There. Yeah. I mean, it makes Thomasina Payne upset because, like, my granddaughter's been killed, and like, I hate Frankenstein. And I'm going to kill him. I guess that lays that in oh. uh, in place for the end. I know, but like, what was he trying to do? That's what I don't understand. I think he was trying to antagonize them to like attack him so he could lead the helicopter into a cliff wall. I don't yeah. know. No, again, I don't. I don't yeah, I don't know. I don't this whole thing could have been. This part's not really clear. This yeah. feels like, oh, we need to blow up an action scene with bombs and stuff. I think that's what's going and on. I think At this point, it. this is padding. I mean, again, yeah. the movie front loads with like its ideas and all that, and then it's like, okay, now we just need action right. to keep it or in long motion. stretches of where we're just the POV of a car racing on a road. Yeah. Um, but it does Plenty end that. up that Frankenstein wins the race and he arrives at the presidential palace. And we see him get out of the car, and he seems to have his hand back. All and it's hands like, intact. Oh. Yeah. And he goes up to shake well, the also, president's hand. He's also a little shorter, and he's got some wider hips. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he's got a knife in his hands. He's mm-hmm. a small the president. knife. But thank God, Thomasina Payne, now Shoots upset. Maybe this was part of the grand plan all along. Now upset about Frankenstein killing her granddaughter. Has the opportunity to assassinate the president, but shoots Frankenstein in revenge. But mm-hmm. turns out, surprise, it's a granddaughter mm-hmm. dressed up as Frankenstein. Yeah. As a distraction. And yeah. He's, and he's again in his underwear. Yep. Frankenstein is. Yeah. yeah. In, in that Speedo, in the car, and rams it at the stage and kills the president. But then he's greeted as a hero. Yeah. He's made the new president. <laughs> he really, yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. Shit, you just got to kill the. Is that the rules now? I think I think so. <laughs> like, the line re- of succession did, is Did murder. we revert back to that? You just kill him and now you're the new guy? Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the Elder Wand. Like, if you kill him, okay. you take yeah. over it. All right. That's yeah. a deep cut for anybody who's 
read Harry Potter. Sorry, is Collins. This, but it, have they set this up in the movie by the idea that Frankenstein did that thing where he made officials fair target that he could kill the president? Did he get a point for that? I mean, I mean, no one else was alive the ultimate, still. I mean, so, I mean, I he was going to win anyways. Being yeah, the president now. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh. yeah. And so he laughs his way into the presidency. Um, uh, marries trying- his navigator. Yep. Yeah. This is all like one ceremony. It feels yeah, like and, uh, the uh, wedding, the your pre- yeah. Mi- Mr. And, President Frankenstein. What yeah, a great yeah. sentence, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Was, President Frankenstein. And where was she shot? Because you're right, shoulder. It didn't seem to take. I yeah, know. yeah, she's shoulder. fine in this wedding dress. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> she's fine. And of course, his first act is he's going to abolish the race. Mm-hmm. He's going to do a whole bunch of other things. Yep. But you're also like, okay, so basically, you're still like. A dictator, and things really haven't changed that much. It's just a different They're guy. They're on their way, Colin. <laughs> Progress takes time. Yeah, yeah, change doesn't happen overnight, Colin. There you go. Well, it does in Death Race 2000. You kill the president, you become the president, and then he kills the, because uh, he can't The real John the, Steele. Yeah, the, the announcer who's like, but uh, but violence is the American way of life, and we want the uh, the race. And kills him. ultimately becomes part of that. Yep, bam, he's out. There and is. then the other announcer who has this great deadpan <laughs> delivery explains to us the history of violence. He does. <laughs> Through very monotone ways over the credits. It's uh, wonderful. Yeah, it because earlier there was a joke where he was talking about what was happening in the race. And he's like, and this reminds me of the time back in 1943. When and then he goes on to explain yeah. some machine. But the way he like walks into the frame and looks almost directly <laughs> at camera when he's delivering no, this he's stuff great. is no, it's it's like hilarious. It's like he's hosting Unsolved Mysteries. It yeah, is. yeah, yeah. He yeah. is Robert Stack. Yeah, it, it kind of wonderful. reminded me of those scenes in Wayne's World that Ed O'Neill has where he turns to the camera and he's like. Why is it when you kill a man in the heat of passion, it's considered murder? <laughs> and he goes on those like monologues to the camera and then they cut back. You know, that's what it reminded me. Of. I love that. <laughs> But that's the way the Death Race 2000 wraps itself up. There you go. Yeah. With uh, nice uh, hand-drawn with credits. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Some artistic credits. Yep. Yeah. All right. We did it. Yeah. Again. We won the race. <laughs> well, we're but one who minute had over. the highest point total? Yeah. Point? <laughs> point? <laughs> wow. Point total. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. So we should we give this movie points? Is that how we're, we're doing or, our Or points, huh. apparently. Or points. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to okay. go around the table, and we're going to give this movie some points. Uh, what's the total? we got to have a total point. Ten or five? five to- out of five? five? Out of five. Nine. Okay. All right, so we're going to go around the table. We're going to tell you what we thought individually of this movie and whether we would recommend it to you. But before we do that, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Why is, wasn't he the navigator for Frankenstein? He's what, my he's, navigator. He's our navigator. He yeah. has a terrible sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we want to let you fine folks at home know how you can interact with us in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Johnny New Jersey writes Mm. in and says, sorry for the overdue message, Freak Showers, but congratulations for 500 episodes. Thank you. And personally- From myself, thank you so much for making me a better movie watcher. Every week, you take time out of your week to entertain us, and I, for one, greatly appreciate it more than you can imagine. The Freak Show not only makes Halloween season even better, but you make movies better. After losing many people I never expected to and working nights, you keep me company while putting a smile on my face. Now I fear that while going for morning walks, I will randomly start saying, I'm a vampire. <laughs> or, I just want room service. <laughs> Both movies I've now seen thanks to this program, whether it's the warm heart of Holly, Michaela's wild card like Moxie, <laughs> Sean's raw sexual magnetism. <laughs> I forgot or, about that. Or yes. Colin's unabashed vampire loving deep well of horror movie knowledge. <laughs> thank you for every episode, and I will gladly buy you all a beer one day. Oh, thank you, Johnny. That was very Girl, sweet. That's so sweet. Mm-hmm. I'm sexy. 
<laughs> I feel According like to them. I feel All like right. that. What, I feel like what he just wrote that is like the Nicole Kidman AMC theaters ad. For us, oh, for us. <gasps> oh, I because he said better. we make movies better. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow. Well, you don't, you don't know what you've done, sir. Yeah. Oh, love that. <laughs> thank you very much. Yes. Thank Seriously. you. Love it. Thank you. <gasps> Uh, tonight's movie, Death Race 2000, uh, Action Dude says, Revving my engine, vroom! What an <laughs> yes. underrated movie. How many O's? Uh, two O's, but a lot of M's. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, so the, mm, okay got it. Grant Parrish says, <laughs> <What? I've, laughs> mm. vroom! We're fully artists, Sean. This yeah. is what we do. <laughs> uh, Grant Parrish says, I feel like there's a lot of potential memes in the It's Those Damn Fake Cops Again line. Oh, uh, he's looking at the the picture we posted uh, of Stallone and his navigator in the uh, in the car. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And he says, "I'm second guessing it because it's from this movie." But searching the internet, I was unable to confirm. But I feel like it does confirm something. Laugh out. Uh, <laughs> Don't you hate that when you're like, "I know this is from this movie," and then you're like. Uh, I can't find any evidence to support yeah. that. I've been there a million times. And you're times. Googling yeah. like yep. all sorts of keywords. Yes, yeah. and nothing's coming up. Anything? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's We've the worst. We've been there, my friend. We've been there. Go there probably weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, look back, uh, I think, two weeks to the, the cowboy musical that I kept mentioning and yeah. breaking. We got a random picture. You got, yeah, you got proof, in the morning. You? No, you got <laughs> video. You got proof. <laughs> <laughs> it exists. Yeah, we got a random video at like 2 o'clock in the morning yeah. in our group chat. Because I remembered it. It was like, oh shit, I got to find this. I had to find did you watch weird, breaking? No, I had to go for some weird website on my phone. And I you have a virus end, now. You have a virus probably. now. I went to the end. I'm like, there's you're on a list. <laughs> yeah. Musical somewhere in you this. You are absolutely on a list now. I was correct. <laughs> this man is determined. Determined. <laughs> I went, went back and watched. She almost like I will not be gaslit. No, I will not. Who went back and watched how many minutes were of that black and white movie within the movie? Oh in, was it May? No, no, it was, was it? it was um was it oh my god, it what was, was that tra- it was a train movie, wasn't it? What was the movie that we watched another movie of? More of the other movie that yes. the oh. was watching. It kept cu- was it New cutting Ninja? No, no, it kept cutting to them watching what the fuck was it? Now <laughs> that's remember. gonna bother me, yeah. But I went back and watched all yes. of it. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just to time it out. Yeah. Oh right. How yes. many minutes yeah. were I remember in the movie? Oh, it kept fuck. cutting what to a black it? and white it movie. Was New York Ninja. Was, was it? Ninja? Was it New York Ninja? I was it? think so. Yeah. I only remember the, the ninja. The, I owned the, it, I think. Yeah. It was the the radioactive guy yeah. lived in a lair and, and kept he watching. had that's this thing right. on TV. Yes. And he would keep watching it, and we're like, there's more of this movie. And you guys were like, that's got to be over 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, that was New York Ninja? I think Wasn't so. It? I thought, no, but I don't remember. Now, we, we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> no, it's lost it's gone. space it's and time. Gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone. done. It's gone. Next. Uh, <laughs> all right. We uh, have digressed. Yeah. Michael Whitaker says, if you've watched the 2008 Death Race, mm-hmm. well, that one was a waste of your time in general. But yeah. you'll notice that this movie has a noticeably different tone, more comedic. It's a lot of fun. And actually, it's great to see some more Corman, well, Corman adjacent on the podcast. True. Yeah. Never get enough, Corman. Never. I mean, you almost can't get away from it. He's, uh, he made enough or everyone yeah, can- ever came from working with him. So right. It's always going to go back to Corman at some mm-hmm. point. He has a very special place on the freak show. Mm-hmm. He does. Colin, are you searching for something? Yeah, Mary Warnoff was in Nomads. Remember, she was ah! in Nomads. Oh, my God. I forgot I about how much it. that movie have, sucked. Damn it. We watched which, that. Which one was Pierce that? That was the Pierce Brosnan in, in the suburbs, oh, remember? Oh, that one was terrible. And he was French. He was French, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was French. Oh, it was really bad. It was oh, such a bad movie. Bad movie. Sorry. I got maloned by that one. <laughs> We've all been there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I uh, have multiple times, as we know. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I was, I followed Sean's lead there, and I was like, I'm determined to find. <laughs> yes. Before the end of the podcast, so the listeners will have the answer. Clearly, if nothing else, we have drive. Yes. <laughs> yes. In certain areas, let's put it, yeah. <laughs> Only about specific things, yes. Right. It's just dumb, very nerd, specific. Nerd that, that we can yeah. in no way monetize. And that no way matter to most other <laughs> <Yes>. people. <laughs> But God damn it. it makes for a complete show. <laughs> if you're in our ecosystem. Just based yeah. on this yeah. conversation, you all need to watch everything everywhere. All <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. uh, well, about uh, Death Race 2000, Travis Legler says, um, oh, because we watched it again. He says, wait, uh-huh. does that mean you could devote an entire episode to Friday the 13th Part 7? No. 
seeing you guys because we did that on that the drive-in. Yeah. He says, seeing you guys do this movie makes me so sad that there's not a director's cut of Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven or Maximum Overdrive, so you could do them again. If if and it'll never happen, but if we were to somehow at some point get that other version of Part Seven, then we would redo it. That's that that's was, the most Sean logic I've ever heard. <laughs> like but, when they piece together this TV lost yeah. footage version, then I'll bring it because it won't right. be the same. Whereas I would just be like, no, fuck yeah. it, we'll just bring yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I mean, we can all play that game. If yeah. I find a portal to another, I feel dimension, attacked. I can do this. I like, feel yeah. attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> Sean's always looking for the little tiny specific yeah. loophole. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, I will get these movies back on the show. <laughs> I questioned Colin not so long ago. I'm like, so when did we watch this movie? How much did we discuss it? How That's right. Because I think for Spookies, we're like, okay, it's got to be at least five years. Because of Spookies, new rules were instituted yeah. on the Freak Show because yeah. of Spookies. Uh, they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Monster Dog was the movie that we watched last week, and Adam <laughs> Kaler says this movie has one of the most ineffective police roadblocks to prevent werewolf <laughs> crossings ever. I was agree. it yes. their plan to stop every driver, toss a milk bone down on the road, and see who chases <laughs> after it? <laughs> Michaela, as the resident werewolf expert, mm-hmm. what is the best way to sniff out if someone is a werewolf? They go camping alone a lot. Oh, oh, shit. That was good. No that one was that good. goes camping alone a lot is up to good, any good. Okay. Like, and Either I mean, like, murder or they have murder, to be away from people. Murder to or to they have to be, away. yeah. Sure. Because, sure. like, like but, if, but if someone goes camping with a dog, that's not alone. I mean, just one person alone. Because a dog, going camping with your dog, that's very normal. A lot of people do that. But going yeah. camping alone, especially if it's like RV camping, yeah, that's really and especially red flag. Yeah. if it's around a full moon. Am yeah, I right. Yeah, yeah. it's but, like yeah. wow, once a month yeah. they always go camping. That's yeah. so yeah. weird. You got to yeah. check moon activity. Yeah, yeah. But do you think we could get the buddy comedy of the werewolf and dog? We saw it. It was Bad Moon. Oh, I didn't see Bad Moon. Oh, yeah, you, were you yeah, not yeah. here for that episode? No, I wasn't here for Bad Moon. Was there a? <laughs> were Michael Parry pissed on a doghouse? I'm pretty sure no, you were here yeah, for yeah, that. I was not here for that. It was him versus the dog. Yes. Oh shit! Was it, I Thor? it was Thor it, Thor. it was it was a werewolf movie from the dog's perspective yep. of the dog oh. being like, "This isn't right, people," and the people being like, "That's just um, Uncle Michael or whatever." No, yeah, I wasn't here for that. <laughs> yeah. one. God damn! And, and I know the poster too, but I wasn't here for it. Ma, uh, what's her name? Was in it. Muriel Hemingway. Yes, and the oh. Dennis the Menace kid and yeah. Michael Parry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. you were yeah. totally here for that. Yeah, I was like, I'm, no, I was not here for. I'm, it. I guarantee it. We're gonna Bad figure room? this out. We're gonna figure this out <laughs> after go, the after yeah. the podcast. Yeah. It's like we're we not, will figure this it's out. Like we're not hashing this out on air again because we've wasted enough time. But we're yeah. gonna figure we're it gonna out. Figure this out. All right. Oh, oh, uh, oh my so, goodness! We almost spilled a beer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, where where'd the clock go? So, Joey Boy. Writes in mm-hmm. about Monster Dog and says, This one looks like it was done by the person that did that music video for Total Eclipse of the Heart. Which, which Monster one? Dog? Oh, yeah, there's but, fog everywhere. And then, no, movie. I mean, which one was it Bonnie Tyler or Nikki French? They I'm both, assuming they both did that. Song. The Bonnie Tyler, yeah, but okay. didn't we? It was Russell Mulcahy, the director of Highlander, who did the the video for Total Eclipse of the Heart. Now, that makes sense because Highlander is a... Yeah, we had one because Highlander looks like a music video. Yeah, it does. The entire thing. Yeah, yeah. It's just different music videos put together. If you weren't here for that episode, I will say. Now you get that Mm -hmm. info dump. Mm -hmm. Michael Whitaker writes in again and says, oh, because we uh, on that episode established the clause where... Because you know that by listening to the show, if we recommend a movie, you're contractually obligated to watch it. But yeah. on Monster Dog, if we universally vote against it, then you can never watch it. Yeah, we, we ah. I'm sorry, we instituted a new rule while you were absent. <laughs> oh, okay. um, it, it's illegal to watch a movie if we all right. don't recommend it. Wow. Right. Okay. Like, we'll officially vote it in after this episode. Sure. Would you be okay with it? No, yeah. I like it. Okay. Like, it's illegal. <laughs> like, you can't watch it if no, we say I, it's bad. No, I love it. Right. If yeah. we all yeah. said no to nothing but trouble, nobody can ever watch it again. Yeah. Who's listened to this show? Yeah. But Michael, well, you have to listen to this show. Stop giving me that look. Holly. You know what? I'll fall on that sword and save some people from watching that movie. <laughs> yeah. But Michael Whitaker asks, is there a clause of not watching a movie you don't recommend? Does it work retroactively? <laughs> like, can you delete Monster Dog from my head? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I w- I, it, not yet. Stay on this we'll journey with us and it'll get, we'll get overwritten we'll, we'll eventually. You, yeah, yeah, we'll give you the bowl cut like Keanu Reeves had and then... <laughs> yeah. Take out your hard drive, delete that, stick yeah. it back in there. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. What did he have? 32 gigs in that thing? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. cool. um, it's like having the 256 megabyte hard drive. It's right. Like, ah, what good is that now? Right. <laughs> the future. <laughs> the future. Uh, Scraw793 wrote Scraw. in about Monster Dog and said, I watched the start of the film for before my internet crapped out, but it did get me on an Alice Cooper listening binge, so it's good for that. You gotta stay on else, that path. Right. If nothing else... That's the benefit of it. Yep. Frankenstein. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just go with that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe God was being like, no, and pulled the plug yeah. on you. Yeah. I'm going to do you a solid today. <laughs> yeah. Right. You'll thank me later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we, we will be stricken down later. <laughs> it's like, what are, you, what are you doing to my people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Alice. Cooper, I didn't realize I mean, how much a... God was going to get involved in this podcast. <laughs> tonight, but, uh, the week before. It's otherworldly podcast. <laughs> uh, true. We have galaxies, universes. Yeah. All <laughs> yeah. In all the heavens, we will be the most popular yeah, it's podcast. Celestial. That's next week. Yeah. <laughs> this is a celestial <laughs> piece mentally <laughs> gotten off. Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called Cutting Class, and Aaron <laughs> Dawn, Murphy's mom, said, Your review actually made me want to watch to see if I judged it too harshly. Oh. I mean, I think that is maybe we can the change best, minds. That's the really best sweet. compliment that we can yeah. change minds and make people I mean, better. Even if we didn't change your mind, like just the fact that just the fact that you lied we, to we us were right that now, com- great. We were that compelling that with you're our, open to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with our discussion. Uh, I compel I you more. It. Go rewatch that movie. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. And just I love it's it. It's a deadpan comedy. It's a deadpan mm-hmm. comedy. It's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful it's thing. Great. All right. Well, now uh, thank you for uh, sticking with us. Now we're going to tell you whether or not. Yes, Sean. Whether or not Colin would recommend (laughs) Death Race 2000. Colin, would you recommend Death Race 2000? Absolutely. (laughs) Uh, Death Race 2000 is a zippy, breezy. (laughs) We've said the word breezy several times tonight, but it is. I mean, it's only like an hour and 19 minutes. True. Even if you are watching it on Tubi. Yeah. (laughs) But, I mean, the economy of its first, like, 20 minutes is good writing. I mean, it's like, because it has, I think, a concept that it has uh, total faith in, and it can understand how to execute it. All the scenes like just seem like these are the ones that you need in order to set this up and, and make this compelling. You, you go, what's going on? Here are the people. This is what's happening. These are the stakes. You know, bam. And then you're off to the races. And yes, I think toward the end, we're complaining that even uh, the movie can't support an hour and 19 minutes. That's the only downside yeah, to it. Uh, yeah. It does yeah. kind of feel like toward the end, it's like we go off on subplots that that don't have any kind of, you know, uh, a good termination point. Right. All, or there's a lot of scenery. And like I said, I never remember the ending of this movie <laughs> uh, after having seen it. Uh, you know, I remember some of the deaths, I think, because the first time I saw it, those ones stuck out in my mind. The guy mm-hmm. getting, you know, saw it through the balls with the, mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. the spike and the other guy getting it through the chest and yeah. the head getting run over and all that. Um, but the rest of it does kind of fade. I mean, you know, obviously the fact that there was so much nudity in it, but then it's like, well, it's a seventies movie, but you know, um, I suppose that you're, you're supposed to expect that. Um, but yeah, it's a fun and entertaining ride for, you know, a brief running time. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's smart. It's satire is funny. Uh, I would definitely recommend, um, death race 2000. Holly, what did you think? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I th- I think my I think my only issues with the movie are like so small that it's it's not even really a big deal. Um I thought it was a little strange that the padding lasted for so long, but like the end went, went really fast. You know, yeah, like mm-hmm. abrupt. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a right. very <laughs> quick abrupt ending. Like it, I I found it a little strange that that wasn't padded out a little more. Like we were trying um, to get the present so much and then we got there and it was just all done, all done real quick. Like real quick. Um so my complaints are just stuff like that. Um otherwise this movie is entertaining as hell. It it is a pretty quick movie for the most part. The scenes do drag with with the padded scenes um but it's it's just it's so random and bonkers. <laughs> Like, I had no idea what we were getting into. All I knew was that Stallone was in it, and it had something to do with racing. That's all I knew. <laughs> so this was fucking... So you thought we were watching Drive. Uh, oh my, I, Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> like, this was bonkers. I had no idea it was going to be this crazy. Um, yeah, very entertaining. Um, not what I expected at all, but definitely a good time. Definitely a comedy, which I appreciate. Um, good, go- decent gore, decent kills. Um, very funny. I would give it... F- Four little oh, boys. Fuck. I would give it four little boys pushing tires with sticks. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with five then. Five. five You're going five, with five? five. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> it's not perfect, so I'm going four, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Michaela, what did you think? 
yeah, I thought I also like had not seen this, didn't really know what it was about. I knew Stallone was in it, and I thought like Death Race was like the track is so dangerous, it like everyone yeah. dies trying to do the that, race. That's the new one. Like okay, oh, yeah. like I, yeah. well, it made me think of Rad and Hell Track. You know, like I yes. thought it was like yes. that. You know, and Ooh, I was like, okay, so it's, those. I was like, it's gonna be the world's best drivers on the world's deadliest track. You know, like, yep. and I was like, mm, no I don't idea. know about that. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea it was gonna be this level of camp, this level of comedy this level of spectacle like corman does it again i guess right like yeah. the man everything is his hands in is always entertaining right mm-hmm. like um i would really 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 want like a good big budget but campy and comedic remake of this yes like get I've like been, george miller to do it the ideas that we came up with yeah yeah you said george miller yeah get been, george miller to do it yeah here thinking who Ooh, yes would, who would should do that it. would be good george miller yeah george, Miller's george miller should do it yeah, yeah. and at like, least you know you'd see some people dying and be like oh yes i died <laughs> but i want like the personas to be like this if not even yes. more extra yeah but i want licensing to stay the fuck out of it i don't want like licensed characters or anything i want like because you know like if it's a disney marvel thing it's just going to be like uh, it's just going to be an ip it's going to be ready player one right i yeah. can't it cannot yes. be ready yes. player one you know it, john cena's in the remake right uh, he, he, or he would be and ryan reynolds like, and yeah it's, it's uh, jason stays up isn't gerard butler in the i don't, yeah. know. I don't know it feels like he was in the first one but maybe i'm wrong but like uh yeah i want they, they fucked it up <laughs> yeah i i don't want it to be ready player one or free guy or like yeah. a Fortnite type thing i want it to just be kind of like just weird personas like this movie is i want it know? to be like a taika watiti movie but not yeah. a, but not a marvel one yeah like yeah. old school yeah i can yeah. see that or even like i feel like after seeing baby driver i can see edgar wright do yeah, a really I can good see death wright. race but, yeah but yeah. but murder people like okay. you did Shaun of the dead the have hand. you not seen those no, no, movies no, I'm saying, yeah. But look, yeah yeah the tradition of this like run over heads right spike dudes in the ball right no i'm just saying after seeing him direct like car scenes yes. in Baby yeah. Driver, like he's not someone I would have normally thought of, but after seeing that movie, I think he could definitely do a Death Race remake too. So I, um, yeah, I loved it. It was great. It, it's not perfect, it has its issues, mm-hmm. uh, but I mean, just just go along for the ride. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely recommend. I would give it four painted <laughs> fake tunnel scapes <laughs> out of five. <laughs> Sean, what did you think? Uh, before I forget, I'm going to, uh, I do recommend this movie. I'm going to give it four. Jurassic euthanasia patients. Out of yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, just to say that, but yeah, this is a—it's uh, a fun movie. It's why I wanted to bring it back because I thought uh, I thought we could all get enjoyment out of this, yeah. you know. And I—I w- I wanted to revisit it, uh, you know, for the reasons like uh, the movie is what it is. Stallone's in it. Um, again, it has all those exploitation elements that we discussed that we love. It's got—it's got the gore. It's got the nudity. It is a—it's f- fun. It is a smart movie. Um, I mean, like uh, our, uh, Holly said, there is padding in this. Like, it could be this could be one oh nine, an hour and nine minutes, real quick. But I mean, it's a fun movie. Um, uh, I've always enjoyed it. I'm glad I brought it back tonight. I recommend it. I think you guys should watch it too. It's uh, yeah, it's a good movie. Death Race two thousand. Oh, De- it's one of the, your ultimate uh, drive-in movies. It's yeah. it's great. Yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that means uh, we've all recommended it. So you are contractually. You know I'm obligated to watch it, and there is a good version of it out there. And I mean, yeah. it survives in, um, you know, pop culture. I, Dave Bautista is probably in the sequels. Pro- I, you know what? Probably. <laughs> I wonder. Cause- well, there is the actual sequel is Death Race 2050, right? With right. So we don't know if, like how they you know came back and True. revisited it. But True. yeah. So Roger Corman apparently did go like you know people still love that movie. Let's make another one. <laughs> There you go. All right. Uh, next week, we are going to watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. What are we going to watch next week? Do you even know? She's, <laughs> She's scrolling through. the list. She's scrolling <laughs> the list. list. We're watching Dark City. Oh, All right. shit. Yep. Okay. Cool. My dad <laughs> likes this movie a lot. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever. S- I don't think I've ever seen it either. Oh, heard a lot about it. But I, I don't think I've ever seen pieces. it. I know that there's a lot of pale ball dudes in black leather. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. From the director of The yes, Crow. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Also the director yeah, right. of Gods of Egypt and iRobot. Um, no. This is, you um, can stop. <laughs> yeah. uh, but there, this begs a question. Are we going to watch the original theatrical or the director's cut? Because he came back to it and said, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> he did. Ooh. And that is open for discussion. Okay. All right. We're going to figure this out. We will let you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So on, that's Dark City next week on Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the base is going dark city <laughs>